Hey everyone, Rachel Weber here on the Fleur de Junk, 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 <laughs> red carpet at the 2017 Twin Cities Film Fest. I am so excited to have the two leads of Darcy, which is in just a few minutes about to make its worldwide debut all across the globe. This is it. This is Jonathan and this is Gus. Um, coming of age story set in sort of a seedy motel. Give us the just kind of the overview from that point. That's where it's set. What happens then? Well, Darcy, who I play, um, she is grown up in this motel. They, um, they're running out of money, and in order to kind of keep the business afloat, they're taking in kind of ex-convicts and people who are just coming out of prison, um, which is kind of like, no one's talking about it, but it's happening. And so I'm this kind of 15-year-old who is coming into her sexuality and adulthood, and um, Jonathan over here comes from the motel, and he's just gotten out of prison, and we meet, and there's this connection formed um, that is kind of taboo, but um, really something special that changes both of us. So obviously you're dealing with, like you said, taboo topics, yeah. or at the very least, very, very kind of bearing topics. How did you guys work um, by yourselves, but with each other as well to create that relationship and to get to that level of comfort. Uh, I called her mother first. <laughs> I did, I called her mom there right goes. away. I, said, I asked the director, Heidi, I said, uh, please, I need the number of, of Gus's mom. And uh, we have to talk, because there's nothing too lewd in the film, but it's definitely bordering on mm -hmm. scandalous. Sure. So I called and just said, I want to let you know that you know we're going to have a couple odd moments in the movie. I want Make sure that you know who I am and that I'm not you know, a creep and that I respect the project and that this is about Gus and this is for her and for Heidi and the story about the coming age of a young woman and you know, anything else about that and how the challenges that are inevitably going to come across the young woman's way are going to be dealt with and hopefully done with some sense of delicacy and, uh, and ultimately respect. So that was Right you call called the, the mama. You call the parents. Yes. You call mama. And you say, hey, <laughs> this means you're okay. And That's you know, awesome. go from there. How about for you? I mean, no, I, Jonathan was amazing from the beginning. He was very sweet. And um, I mean, it's a weird situation to be in. I was 15 at the time. and no, I was not. And he was not 15. I was surprised. He was 15, <laughs> right? But um, no, I think it's just establishing the level of comfort and of friendship and it was weird, but it, it actually wasn't that weird when we got there. And um, I don't know, yeah, just having that connection for us made it not feel weird. Yeah, talking over the phone helped. We talked on the phone a couple of times, and I think just speaking, hearing each other's voices, yeah. getting an understanding of where we're both coming from. And I think the other thing is that one thing that I gleaned, at least that I learned a lot from Gus, was just how much of a craftswoman she is. Like, she very much dedicated herself to formulating a character, building the app, building the story and telling it. So we kind of just came at it that way. So mm -hmm. just like, all right, we're just going to build something together. So that's actually a perfect jumping off point for our next question. What drew you guys to the story? What compelled you to want to be part of, of telling it? Well, um, I mean, I was, to say it again, I was 15 right. when I read the script. And I, you know, it's about a 15 year old. and. I was dealing with so much of the same stuff she was dealing with, like coming into your own, coming into your own skin, and I'm still dealing with it, you know, I mean, three years later, and um, I just, I, it really attracted me to that, it was not a hard play at all, it was something I totally related to, and um, yeah, I felt very lucky that it came my way. Um, I think a part of it is that there's so many stories about guys yeah. out there, and there's so many stories about men. To have something that was so purely about a young woman going through something very universal and at the same time from a perspective of a unique individual that not a lot of us are. You know, I don't I've only met a couple of people that grew up in halfway houses or right. around them. So that was a big part of it. Was the idea of this ensemble piece for me was a big part of it too. It was you have this halfway house with all these individuals that are inside a lot of most of them good people a couple of them really have crossed the border and maybe are not and then you have those in between that are struggling that really want to be a part of society but they just can't get out of their own way 
And I think that struggle for a lot of us always grabs me. It's like when we can't get out of our own way. And we just want someone or anybody to come along and say like, hey, just help me not be so me. Right, yeah. And there was a bunch of people in that story trying to do that. And, and then when I talked to Gus and saw her work, I was so impressed that I was like, I just want to work with this person and learn. Okay, so final question. It's a more serious film. Any moments of levity or comedy behind the scenes that you just used at, to like breathe for a minute? I don't think there are any. No, you kept it serious in front and behind? No, no. Because... I, 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 yeah, we, were, we were joking around plenty behind, okay. behind the camera. Yeah. No, I can't remember any. I don't... No pranks? No, no pranks, really. No. 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 Just... No your mama jokes? No, you know what I think? <laughs> I think what it was is like kind of what you were saying. Like We kept it sweet. It wasn't saccharine ever between us, but yeah. we definitely kept it yeah. genuine, sincere, and sweet. I think we joked around, we giggled a few times here and there, but it was mostly getting to know one another. Yeah, yeah. Simple yeah. little questions. The friendship. And, yeah, building sure. this rapport, building a friendship that would allow for the uncomfortable moments in the film to go smoother without. Because yeah. I think that allowed for a dynamic tension to be built into the characters. Absolutely. Where you're like, they don't know each other, and we, I feel like. Gus did such an amazing job at acting like we didn't know each other at all because we had started to get to know each other a bit and then that created this like kind of like odd spark between them because the friendship was growing right, yeah. while this relationship, this sort of taboo relationship yeah. was growing. Yeah. Very cool. Guys, thank you so much. I'm really excited to see this film at some point. This sounds amazing. Good luck with how it continues and good luck for each of you guys. Where can we find you? Facebook? Yeah. Instagram, yeah. all the social media, yes, yeah. stalk you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, yeah. stalk yeah. them, they Twitter. appreciate it. Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Twitter. Twitter. Awesome, Twitter. perfect. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. All right, we'll be right back. Thanks.